Hey guys, here in this lesson we're going to be looking at the requirements for certain hardware inputs. And it's actually a very easy lesson and I hopefully will help it make sense to you as we get through it. So have a look here. Here we have a computer, all right, and then over there we have the printer. Now we want to obviously connect the printer to the computer so that we can use it. And in order for a device to be used by an operating system, by a PC for example, it needs to have what's called the device driver. Now the driver is just a piece of software that makes the computer understand what the hardware is so that it can communicate and control it. So here's an example. A connection is made between the printer and the computer. The printer greets the computer, but the computer doesn't know what's going on. The printer tries again, but the computer is not the brightest and it still doesn't know what's going on. So what does the computer do? Right, it queries the device and then once it knows what the device is, it can then install the driver, the software that it needs to be able to communicate. So it's kind of like being able to determine what language the device speaks and then learning how to speak that language and then speak in that language. It's kind of like that. Okay. So now when the printer goes, Hey, I'm your new printer. The computer goes, Hey, welcome Epson. Now I know all about you and we can work together. Yeah. So now the drivers have been installed and the PC can now communicate and control the printer. So that's what a, a, a driver is, okay? It's just a piece of software. And the reason this works so well and almost so fast without you even realizing it is because it's called plug and play or plug and play. Pick and pay, plug and pay. It sounds like pick and pay. Plug and play. Plug and play are basically just when drivers are automatically installed without any user intervention and that the new device can be used almost immediately. That's plug and play. You plug it in and you're then able to use it right away. The reason plug and play works is because the computer actually has the driver already stored somewhere in its operating system. It's got like a special place. I don't know where it is. Don't ask me where all the drivers are installed. Okay. Or at least it knows where to find the driver online. So if it connects to something, it goes like, hang on. Okay. I can see that that's an Epson printer. I don't have the right driver. I'll go and just download one off the internet and then voila, it can then speak to the, the printer. Okay. So here's a definition for you. All right. For device drivers. Let's read it. Software that allows hardware devices to communicate with each other and be controlled by an operating system or another piece of hardware. All right. And that's what a device driver is for. All right. I hope, hope you remember this. This always comes up in your exams. All right. Let's have a look at this one. Another piece here in terms of scanning things. So here you can see we have a document or a piece of paper. Just imagine that is a actual physical piece of paper. All right. Now I want to get this piece of paper onto my computer so I can actually edit it. All right. I want to, I don't want to have to retype it all out. I want to have it put into word possible. Absolutely it is. So I scan the document. I scan the document with a scanner. The scanner then has software called OCR software, which reads all the stuff that has been scanned in and identifies all the shapes of all the characters and then converts it into actual digital text that I can then edit in a word processing program. Okay. That is known as OCR software. OCR, what does it stand for? Optical character recognition. Optical because it's scanning, okay. Character because that's what it's look at, that's what it's scanning, the actual shapes. Recognition, it recognizes what the shapes form and is then able to determine what that is in terms of digital text. And so optical character recognition is what we use to take something that is a hard copy, all right, scan it in and convert it into a digital editable soft copy in a word processing program. OCR is very cool and it saves you a lot of time if you've got to scan stuff in for retyping.